Welcome back to another episode of Impact Photo. I'm your host, Dustin Meyer, and today we're going to do another tutorial on using Portrait Pro Studio Max. Uh, we're going to go for something a little bit more edgy. Uh, these are some of my more favorite types of photo shoots. Uh, I do a lot of work with Sure Shots Magazine. They are an educational group about um, firearms, uh, specifically for women. And every month we put out a new issue where we do something kind of fun, just a little bit more drama to it, just to add some spice to the mix. It's always just kind of a nice project to do on the side. So anyways, we're going to jump right into it. This is a a picture that we did from a shoot a while back kind of got like a Resident Evil kind of look to it everything it's a lot of fun so um, we're just gonna go right into it so I've already imported the image into Portrait Pro and if you're gonna start from the very beginning instead of just importing it directly from Lightroom if you just want to open up a uh, image you know straight into the software then uh, we'll just click on start and we're gonna go with female and now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do spacebar or I'm sorry control button or command button for you Mac users and then we're gonna go to the right corner and then we're gonna do the tip of the nose and then the corners of the mouth and now for the eyes we're just gonna move that to the inside of the eyes now it's a little tricky because the hair is slightly in front of the eyes here so we're just gonna help it along so it can find where the eye outline is and move the pupil to right about there and the eyebrows are technically okay because in all honesty they're kind of hidden by the hair so and now just keep in mind when it comes to the eyes make sure that you've got them pretty good if you plan on doing any uh, eye makeup or um, you know uh, brightening the white around the eyes and so we're gonna go next to the other eye there we go And as usual, it's very important, just make sure that you've got the right location where the eye is to make sure that, once again, you get the white part correct. Or if you want to enhance the color of the eyes, you know, just kind of keep an eye out for that. And there we go. We're going to do mouth open. Just enough. Now, if you have a picture where... The mouth is closed just go for that option too and let's see here looking pretty good now it always helps if they have uh, you know makeup already done and also keep in mind here's a good tip make sure that you have um, your sharpening done pretty high you know when you export because it just helps the software find the face a little bit quicker My mouse is being a little sticky today, that's okay. The computer has not had its coffee this morning yet. And neither have I. There we go. Okay, so looks pretty good. So, and nose looks good. Alrighty, and next. Now, shape of the face. Now, once again, this is probably one of the things that your clients will mostly want to... Uh, Want for you to correct in case uh, you're like me and you've got those chipmunk cheeks, you know, we always want a little bit of smoothing and stuff. So um, just make sure you get the jaw outline nice and correct. The hairline, we're going to leave it alone because we've got the hood covering the hair. So other than that, let's see, I'm just going to expand this over just a little bit more. Make sure it's nice and even. Okay, so here we go. Next. And while it's doing that, one of the things, the newest feature about uh, version 15 is all the cool makeup effects you can do. So in this case, we may not use them as much because our model actually has a little bit more makeup uh, than what maybe some normal people would do for like a regular headshot. But you always have that opportunity to kind of play around with it. Uh, when it first imports it, it kind of does like a very general sort of preset, but you've got all of these other presets over here. Like that looks really good. You can do one with no sculpt. You can do a uh, full face or you can go no lighting. So, but we're going to go with a uh, female and we're going to go with, let's see, this time around, we're going to go with uh, female and glamorous. And now we're going to zoom out. I always just like to kind of take a step back and look already. As you can see, we've got really nice uh, smoothing around the cheekbones. Um, also, what you can do is if for some reason maybe you forgot to go in and just um, kind of take care of any other places that might need some skin smoothing, you can go to the uh, skin area and just kind of 
brush over the spots that might need a little bit of additional smoothing, uh, like on the arms or the legs, which is really nice. You spend a lot less time in Photoshop taking care of all that stuff. And then let's see, we're also going to go and brighten up the eyes a little bit more just to make them stand out since she's got that hood. So I'm just going to grab the master slider and bring that up a little bit more. There we go. Uh, again, I feel like the eyes are really the most important thing about a picture. So helping them, helping them stand out is a really good way of helping the viewer connect with the, um, with the image. So mouth and nose controls may not need it so much, but just for demonstration purposes, uh, we're just going to kind of play around with that a little bit. Now keep in mind what you're going to see here is a little bit of more coloration in the lips. And then also uh, with the teeth, we're going to clean that up a little bit more. Now, since there's not so much of her teeth showing, I'm not going to worry about it as much. But here's a nice thing. You can also change the saturation of the lips, like if you really want to go drastic with it or if you want to bring it back. The cool thing is it kind of keeps it looking, well, it really keeps it looking nice and natural. Uh, we're going to zoom out a little bit here so you guys can see what it looks like playing around with the makeup controls. So lipstick, you can add a little bit more color. Again, it's still extremely natural. So if you've got somebody who didn't quite put on quite enough lipstick or the lip color matches the skin around it a little too much, you can mess with that. Um, you can add a little bit more mascara if you want to bring it in just a little bit, maybe do like a light application of it. There we go. And then also, let's see here. We are going to lower eyeshadow. We're going to bring that down just a tad. There it is. All right. And then let's see, eyeliner. We're going to kind of go for the smoky eye sort of look. There we go. Okay. And so we're going to go down to eye controls here again, just tweaking that, making sure they stand out, just mainly looking for the white part of the eyes. Of course, you can also enhance the color of the eyes as well, but I think it kind of works for what we've got going on here. And then let's see mouth and nose controls. See, we got that covered. And then also uh, hair controls. Again, as I've said before, this is one of my favorite things to mess around with in here because I just think it looks I think they've done a really good job with um, with the hair feature here. So we're going to go in. And as you've noticed, it kind of picked up a little bit from the hood. So we're going to do the cutback tool here. And as always, you can just use the bracket tools like you would in Lightroom or in, or in Photoshop to change the size of your brush. And then we'll click OK. And now what we're going to do is go to hair tidying mode. And again, what this does is it just kind of smooths out the hair, adds a little bit of extra shine. Of course, you can also go in and change the color, which we'll do in a little bit here. But um, we're going to go over to smooth hair. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. So over here, we got a little bit of noise in the hair area. But we're going to smooth it out a little bit and bring this back just a tad. And there we go. Perfect. Okay. And then from here, I think probably the next thing to do would be to kind of mess around with the, uh, the lighting because, uh, that can always really enhance your picture. So we're going to go over to, um, skin lighting controls, and we're just going to kind of drag this guy around to see what might look best. If we want to add a little more shadow to the, it would be her left, our right side of the face. Or if you want to fill that shadow, you can go over here too. Uh, sometimes you may want to put something like right by the eye if you really want to stand out. Um, so I think what I might do is actually add a little bit of contrast just to kind of add a little bit more mood. There we go. Let's bring it up a little bit more. And then cheekbones. There it is. Now notice what we've got over here on this side. Let me zoom out a little bit versus what we have over here. Really nice glowing eyes, smooth hair. We've also used the um, the shape contouring a little bit. So we'll go to face sculpt. Now I use the glamorous preset, which is always a really great place to start if you're going with a more edgy kind of look. But you can also come over here and kind of tweak it. Uh, it definitely helps with the uh, skin, uh, the sculpting. You can also do uh, lens correct, which is easier to notice when you're um, a little bit further zoomed out. So if you watch the shape of her face, 
That way it kind of fixes for anything like a wide angle or too much telephoto. Uh, head forward, what that does is it kind of slenderizes the neck and makes the jawline more prominent. Just be careful with that one, but it really does help if you've got someone who tends to tuck the chin a little too much into their neck. And I think that looks really good. In fact, I think other than that, we're good. So uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, we're always coming out with new videos about retouching using Portrait Pro. I really like this software. We've got a link posted at the bottom with uh, a chance for you guys to try out the, uh, the, the trial version. And uh, if you like what you see, just uh, post it down below. If you have any questions, again, just put them down in the comments. Otherwise, uh, subscribe if you uh, like these videos. Uh, you can always add a like as well. We're always putting out new ones. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.